Hello everybody, this is Thomas with Thomas Bodkin's Fine Art and tonight we are going to varnish this canvas piece here. This is Agave Abstract. I sold a piece this morning so I needed to print another one to get it ready for my show this weekend. First step you want to do is make sure that this thing is nice and clean. So you take a clean towel and just kind of wipe it down, make sure there's no dust on it. So you get dust on it, you're going to get dust underneath the varnish, and then you'll always have a spot and it'll drive you crazy. Got my varnish here. This is Hanamule Glossy Varnish, mixed with about 10% of DI water. Let's get right to it. You can see as this goes on how the saturation and the contrast really start dumping out. What you want to hear is that nice sticky sound. It means it's going on nice and smooth. And this, once I get it wrapped, it'll be a 16 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas. And I will be framing it, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow. The print's been sitting here for about four hours or so, maybe five, which gives the ink plenty of time to dry. You don't want to put the varnish on too quickly because then it'll lift the ink off the canvas. And I will let it sit overnight before I wrap it. And that gives the varnish plenty of time to dry and settle in. And put on some nice even coats here. That way you don't get any lines or uneven uh, coverage. Now every time I go and do a pass, I use a little bit less pressure. And just kind of cleans it up a little bit. Now you can see the difference between the mat that I started with and now the saturation really pops a lot more with this uh, glossy varnish on here. Looking at the reflection to make sure I don't have any lines. Everything looks good. Well, that does it for the varnishing of this piece and tomorrow I'll be doing another video for wrapping it so I will see you then have a good night